your pricing setup under the Orders Product Pricing menu. If you go to Orders and Product Pricing and you don't see it, most likely you're in the Client Image Browser View window. Simply close this window and you'll see it behind there. To see your products and pricing, click on Select Labs. You can click on just one lab. If you're only going to use one, I recommend generic standard as it has all of the generic standard sizes for all labs in there. Additionally, you can select multiple labs and price multiple labs products all at the same time. And then under type, you can choose what type of product you would like to price. One of the benefits of working this way is you can select multiple types at the same time and price them all at the same time. For example, I can select canvas, wood, metal, and acrylic and price them all the same at the same time. This black box indicates that this product size is active. By default, all boxes are active, so you will want to click on the box to deactivate the sizes that you do not want to offer. By default, you'll see only one price available for that product size. If you would like to offer multiple pricing options, click on the Show Pricing Tiers and you can add up to three different pricing options for one product size. For loose prints, you can see I have deactivated a lot of sizes here. And then I have 4x6, 5x7, 6x4, and 7x5. Because we bring in our data differently, you'll need to price verticals and horizontals separately, although you can show them the same in the Client Orders tab. You'll see for 4x6s I have tiers, but for 5x7s I do not have tiers. Once you have created all of your pricing, you can click Save and save out all of your pricing. Remember that pricing collections does not happen inside of here. This is only for pricing a la carte items. If you do not sell large canvases a la carte, feel free to not price your canvases or your metal prints, frame prints, etc. This pricing section is only for a la carte items. After you've created your pricing, a quick way to test your pricing is simply to click Add Print and choose the item that you would like to add and you will see only the products that you have enabled and additionally you can see the price that you've attached to a product. For example, under 4x6 I have tiers, so when I choose 4x6 we'll see that the price does not come up until I choose a tier. For 5x7, I don't have any tiers, and we'll notice that the tier dropdown does not pop up. A quick reminder, you can hit this icon to toggle between vertical and horizontal prints. You've probably noticed that under Collections and Composites, you can create groups with names and then save to those particular names. I've created metal, canvas, and acrylic groupings because I've priced those all the same and then frame print collections. Additionally, you have group three, four, and five. Collections will only show up if you've saved a collection into that group. So group four and five will not show up because I haven't saved a collection to it. Same with composites. For convenience sake, we've given you the ability to name these collection groups. Under the Orders tab, Product Pricing, the second tab in, we have the name of the collections. Simply type the name of that group and you can rename that. Same with Composites. Just type in the name of the grouping and you can rename them to whatever you would like, and then click Save. Once you've created your collections in your groups, you can select them at any time and apply them.
In the fourth panel, you can load in your logo. We accept PNG and JPEG logos. Additionally, you can set your paper size between letter and A4. You can toggle on and off your thumbnails and light item prices in the client order sheet and also add your legalese for your order sheet. To show you what this looks like, let's go ahead and view the order. Here we can see the thumbnails and the light item prices as well as the legalese. Now let's toggle off both of these items so you can see the difference. Now we see no thumbnails as well as no light item prices, simply the subtotal, discount, tax, and total. Finally, in the last tab, you can set your currency symbol, your tax or VAT rate, and then the name of the tax. Some countries require a different name for the tax legally, so you can set it to whatever you would like. And finally, you can set whether the tax is added on to the subtotal or if it is included into the subtotal as many countries require. And this has been the tutorial on setting up your client pricing and settings. Music